Guys, we're gonna do a video here. I love these data analysis videos. It's pretty much what I do all day. I enjoy it. To me, it's like a puzzle. It's like a game. I get to figure out what's, what's wrong with someone, why they're so tired, why their therapy isn't working. I love it. So I like to kind of bring you into that world because a lot of you actually say you like it too. So here's the deal. First, let me kick it to my sponsor so we're uninterrupted. Check out the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. Did you know CPAP supplies are FSA, HSA eligible? If you don't use your money by the end of the year, they're gone. It's gone forever. Much like the relevance of this advertisement now, but it's now 2025 and you can get an early start on using your FSA, HSA account. You don't have to wait till the end of the year, you dirty procrastinator. But you can use money in your FSA, HSA account to buy CPAP supplies at cpapsupplies.com. You can also use discount codes LANKYFALL as well as LEFTY20. You can save 25 or 20% off your order. Also, you guys, they always, all great mask. Micronova did a review on it. Fantastic mask. You can put that baby in your cart, put in either of those discount codes, save 20 or 25% off your order. Please, I beg it of you, please, Check out the sponsor of this video, cpapsupplies.com. So this is what we have here. Um, this happens to be, I'm not gonna lie, we have a little bit of a uh, celebrity sighting here. You guys don't believe me? Eh, you don't have to believe me. Celebrity sighting here. So this major, major star, I'm talking, I'm talking George Clooney-like level of stardom. Although it's not, it's not, it's not them. Having a hard time with their sleep, Use an Oscar a little bit. We do not have a lot of data. If I move to the next month, we have three there and another three days here of data that's been recorded. And on each night, this is one of them, we got like, I don't know, a minute? Not a lot of data. This happens to be a major celebrity. If I said the name, you'd know it. But it's not George Clooney, I'll tell you that. They said, you go ahead and use my data, I like your videos. So. Sometimes a lot of you people want to know how much data is enough data to figure stuff out. The answer is sometimes you need very little data and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean on this. So this day one here is a complete loss. There's, there's really no usable data. Now if you look at this day, this looks like a complete mess. This AHI, though I, I always say don't believe that reported AHI, it's crap. This actually has some usable data in here, but it looks terrible first glance. This next day, oh, it looks horrible, horrible, horrible. And as you go through here, this, this all looks terrible. One of the questions is, do I have Chainstokes respiration? That's one of the questions. All right, so let's go back and take a look at this. Now, this is the one day I actually really liked. This is the day they said, you know what? This is the only day I have that's usable. So I looked at this day and I can't see anything. Let me put on some glasses. You know, business Jason is coming out here. So they're, they're, they finally drift off to sleep here and they immediately go into chain stokes respiration. Now this is one of the things why I tell you guys, don't trust the algorithm and don't put on EPR, especially on low pressures. You're just gonna cause a hell of a lot of problems for yourself. So this is a section here, one of the few days where we have basically the leak is nice and stable so we can trust it. They do have a chain stokes like respiratory pattern early on. They only have EPR set to a level of one, but they have this pattern going on. And then look at this, we have the exact same pattern. Now it's being flagged as an obstructive apnea. So if these were truly central apneas, you wouldn't want that. But look, it flags a ton of them as obstructive apneas. So because of that, it's gonna increase the pressure dramatically, which it does. But if you can tell the difference between these and these, uh, you, can, you can take my lunch money. So we progress through and all of a sudden they wake up they say, screw this for a time, and then they come back to it and we're gonna go through a very similar cycle. Chain Stokes respiration pattern, low pressure, pressure starts increasing, and lo and behold, we get up to a pressure of almost 10, I'm looking right here, almost 10 with an EPR of one, and it stabilizes somewhat before they give up on it. Now they did fall asleep in this segment. Look at this right here. This section here, Breathing is mostly stable, but this baseline, inhale, exhale, it's not coming up to baseline. This is palatal prolapse, so the soft palate is moving forward, blocking the exhalation coming out of the nose. So a 
You can feel it if you do that. If you force that to happen, you can feel it. Um, actually, this is, happens to be something I suffer from, so I, I'm, I'm quite familiar with it. But this person has that. We also have flattening on the tops of all these waves. So I can tell you for sure, one, once they stabilize their breathing, everything evens out. So their body is compensating for this crappy pressure. The pressure is increasing. That's throwing them off. The EPR is throwing them off. Once it stabilizes here and they're at a semi-high pressure, it stops. It goes away. They stabilize. But they're still not on enough pressure. And so they take it off and they're done for the night. That's all I thought I had. So... What I told them to do is one, kill the EPR, go with a straight static pressure of nine because we don't go too high and go to 10 and then possibly even 11. Try those things. They have to get leak under control because in these previous nights where I thought there was nothing, there's nothing there. But this one, look, the leak is all over the place. This is totally unusable, but we do have a little section right here where the leak is stable. If we go up here, we can look at, and get a little clue here. What's going on? Now see, they're at a higher pressure now than they were just the, the previous night we looked at. They're at basically 10 with an EPR of one. It has stabilized, but look at this. There's flattening on the tops of all of these waves with an awakening. We have flattening, flattening throughout. This is all obstructive. These are all obstructive events, every single one of these, but they've finally gotten past that point of having that sleep onset chain stokes respiration or sleep onset central apneas or leak is stabilized. And I can tell for 100% sure they're having sleep disordered breathing because of a collapsed airway as well as palate prolapse. And it's occurring on uh, some of these as well. We also, like you can see these, these markers are snoring on exhalation. So really what appears to be a, holy crap, this is not a good situation maybe isn't so bad. Another spot here of no leak on the next night. So look at this, we're getting, very, we're getting very valuable information from very short periods of time. This is a 20 minute segment. And I can tell you that these are all obstructive events. Again, pilot prolapse, pressure just needs to go up and it needs to be on a stable pressure because guess what? This pressure is dropping like a rock, doing nobody any good. And they're just gonna wake up, take the mask off for a period of time. Hopefully you guys found that of interest. If you did, please do me a favor, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd like to say thank you to all the Patreon supporters, my YouTube members. And if none of this makes sense to you and you wanna have a pap therapy analysis with me, check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. You can have a one-on-one -on -one pap therapy. Why don't you go ahead and hop in your time machine that you got for Christmas? go back before Christmas and then play this message. It'll make a lot more sense. I wanna wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever the hell you celebrate. And one last thank you to the mega celebrity that let me use this data. Thank you so much for watching, good night. Clean your stinky mask with some mask right available at Amazon. And time for an extra thick Thanks, buddy, to my top level supporters, Doug Toombs, Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Jason Patricia Espelong, Patricia Stuart Hetherington, Alan Liu, Edward Steiner, and I'd like to say thank you also to these people, as well as those other people. Up the ante, you get a shout out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Barely even on screen, but still appreciate the support.